let's go feed some calves. But first, I can't believe we had another broody hen. She hatched out seven chicks. The three rabbits we were able to keep contained are growing fantastically. The one with the spots here has changed so much in color. The first calf I'm gonna feed is Lip. He's housed with the goats Hero and Pickle. To feed Lip, I'm gonna put everyone else outside. One, for the convenience of the two weaned calves not bothering me, but Lip's also gonna get his own grain inside the shelter. I'm getting two buckets of grain ready. One is gonna go out to the yearling herd. And the second one I used to fill up all the calves' grain buckets and ducks and pigs, etc. Almost forgot to throw some hay over for the rabbits. Look at these sweet, patient little angels. Just kidding. They've been yelling at me this whole time. Pickle and Hero will go anywhere for grain and they'll stay out here, but the goats know that I feed Lip separately, so I have to be quick in uh, shutting the goats out. Lip is nearing about the eight week point and I was really hoping to have him weaned already, but I made a couple mistakes. The biggest mistake I made was incorrectly mixing the formula. Super rookie move on my end. And the cherry on top was Pickle and Hero eating all the grain and Lip not fighting for any at all. Now that I'm aware, he gets his own ration and he gets some alone time in here so he does not have to compete for food. In the future, I'd love to be set up to house everyone individually until they're weaned. And we're gonna go feed the little crazies. These two Angus Cross heifers are nuts. These two from the start have been super energetic and lively and crazy, crazy, crazy about bottles. All calves are crazy about bottles, but you know, there's just those who take it to a different level. These two take about 20 minutes to feed. Most importantly, these two are doing awesome. They're healthy. They've been eating grain, drinking water, eating hay. I am very confident that these two will be weaned right on schedule. And because they're so energetic, they are the most fun to watch interact. They play all day long. I really enjoy these two paired together other than feeding time. These girls take about 20 minutes to feed, so because of that, I've been making milk replacer in two separate batches. That way, when the last two calves are fed, their bottles are still at the right temperature. Our Angus Holstein cross gets the most milk. He gets about a gallon every feeding. And Mona Lisa now is weaned, but when this video was taken, she was getting probably about two pints per serving. So more than enough milk to separate in different batches anyways, because my stock pot was getting pretty full. Other things I may do for my morning chores is dump out waters, clean the bucket if it's gross, and fill with fresh water. I'll make sure all the calves have grain. See, theirs was looking pretty dirty, so we're gonna dump it out and get them some fresh water. Um, sometimes I halter train Pickle and Hero in the morning, but this morning I didn't. <laughs> and it's time to let the big boys back in so they can finish off all the grain that Lip didn't eat. All right, let's go get the girls their fresh water. And when I walked in, they were eating grain. Love to see it. That means that we are on schedule for weaning. Before I make the next batch of milk replacer, I'm gonna make sure that Mona Lisa has topped off grain. I do the same thing for the Black Angus Holstein Cross as well. The calves are fed a mix of a mill run, corn, and barley. Okay, two more bottles to go. It's been so nice reducing down to four bottles now. And also, present day, Lip is looking so fantastic. He has a full room, and by the time I even get out there to his bottle, so I think we're going to be down to three bottles here soon. When choosing to wean a calf, there are a couple things that I look for. One, being their body condition and overall health. And two, like I said earlier, having a full room in before I come out with the bottle. The nice thing about calves is you can tell if they ate or not just by looking at their rumen triangle. Next time you feed a calf, look at how their stomach changes before and after they eat their bottle. And I dumped all the grain on the table. Whoops. It's time to go feed the yearling herd. They get a full bucket of grain in the morning and another bucket at night. This mama is so protective, I can't stand walking by her. Can I get to the barrel before everyone notices? Highly unlikely, especially when I'm trying to find a spot to film. These guys literally have no patience. If they see me out here with the bucket, they're all gonna start pushing each other. I can hardly even dump the bucket of food in there without getting it all over their heads. While the cattle are taking a break off pasture in the barn, we have a couple fans here going. This helps them stay cool, but most importantly, if they stand in front of the fan, all the flies blow off their face, so it gives them a lot of relief, especially on those hot days. I save a little bit of grain to put in a bucket over here, so that way we don't have as much competition. It gets a little crazy out there. And now I'm going to start turning over all the bedding. 
I do this about three times a day. And if the bedding isn't very dry, I'm gonna add more bedding to it. I need to get these girls a new hay bale, so I'm gonna move all of the loose hay over to that side, and then we're gonna go upstairs. And of course, when I move the hay around, it's almost like I added new hay into there. Everyone loves it. All right, guys, come with me up to the loft. This is where we keep all our hay. It's really nice because all I have to do is just untangle it and kick a bale down there into their feeder. I'm currently going through about two of these a day. Sometimes it's three. It also depends on how much is left over in their hay feeder. These bales that we buy also seem to vary in weight, so that also affects how many we go through. I don't feed them a certain amount a day. Pretty much when it's empty, I refill it. I always have hay available for them all day. This spot here is my favorite to take a break and just enjoy watching the cattle eat. Much of my day is running around taking care of the animals. It's not very often I get the time to just sit here and admire them, and that's one of my favorite things to do. And additionally, I get a different view on their body condition. When I sit down and reflect on my journey of having cattle is when I get the most imposter syndrome. I'll look at how big they are, and I'm like, who am I? Why do I have so many cows? <laughs> All right, let's get back to work. Next on my list is to come fill up the hay feeder that's out here. I have a roll that has gotten pretty small, so I'm just going to lift it into that hay feeder. Not as easy as it looks. It's like really heavy and long. There's nothing quite like having a face full of hay. Well, that was easy. I got to go hop over the fence and make sure it's in there all the way. Otherwise, the cattle will definitely tip the hay feeder over. Well, that's about all I have for you guys today. I've been pretty slow on making videos, so I hope you enjoy. I'm going to try to get back on it, and until then, have a great day.